As we look at the details of nature, uh, one thing stands out. This is the order, the patterns, the symmetry that surround us. You can see it in a flower, or a snowflake, or even a seashell. What we are seeing is intelligent design, which might be described as God's fingerprints upon nature. One of the more fascinating math relationships was first described back in medieval times, eight centuries ago. The scholar's name was Leonardo Fibonacci, an outstanding Italian mathematician. He excelled in many areas, and one in particular. He generated a long list of numbers by, in each case, adding together the two previous numbers. You can begin with a two and a three. You add them together and you get five. Now add three and five to get eight. Then add five and eight to get 13. The Fibonacci sequence keeps going like this. Two, three, five, eight, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, and so on. What Fibonacci realized was that this elegant list of numbers describes many items to be found in nature. For example, flower petals. L'exemple des pétales euh, d'une marguerite. Vous dites, il n'y a pas de hasard au nombre de pétales d'une marguerite. Non, absolument. Le, le, le nombre de pétales de marguerite est en fait inscrit dans un scénario qu'on pourrait qualifier de scénario cosmologique, c'est-à-dire que tout a été prévu au départ, et que le nombre de pétales, c'est incroyable. Il n'y a pas de pétales, il n'y a pas de pétales. Il n'y a pas de pétales, il n'y a pas de pétales. Il n'y a pas de pétales, il n'y a pas de pétales. Il n'y a pas de pétales, il n'y a pas de pétales. C'est pas possible. 
C'est pas possible. Et euh, elle, le nombre de pétales d'une marguerite est réglé par une loi mathématique qu'on appelle la suite de Fibonacci. That there is a mathematically precise structure to the universe and everything in it. One everyday example of this precision can be found in the plant. Take for example the sunflower. The display of its florets are in perfect spirals of 55, 34, and 21. The sequence of Fibonacci. The sequence of Fibonacci. The sequence of Fibonacci. The sequence of Fibonacci. The fruitlets of the pineapple create the same spiral based on the sequence. The pine cone does the same. As currents move through the ocean and the tide rolls onto the shore, the waves that bring in the tide curve into a spiral that can be mathematically diagrammed onto a plot at the points 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. Buds on trees, sand dollars, starfish, petals on flowers are formed with this exact same blueprint. This blueprint can be seen around us on a small scale every day, but the greatest example of all is directly above our heads. At an average of 100,000 light years across, even the spiral of the galaxies above us are formed with the exact design. With the exact design. With the exact design. This sequence, our blueprint, appears to be the trademark of a designer, a proof of a creator. Also known as the golden mean, the divine proportion is a mathematical formulation exhibited in everything from the double helix of DNA. The DNA molecule, the code for life, is made up of two intertwining spirals. We find the 0.618 ratio between the helix's width and cycle length to the form of the human body itself. Do something like measure the distance from the floor to your navel and then from your navel to your head. If you're well proportioned, the ratio should be 1 to 1.618, and that ratio is seen all over the beautiful body. People started noticing it. Artists noticed that the width of the in a beautiful face, for example. Yeah. Not in any face, but it had to be beautiful. If a face was beautiful, the width of the mouth was exactly 1.618 times the width of the nose. If the face wasn't beautiful, that wasn't the case. Dentists, yeah. in their dental work, noticed that the upper front tooth was 1.618 times as wide as the next, next tooth over, the lateral incisor. Oh. So the central incisor was 1.618 times the width of the lateral incisor, the next tooth over. Wonderful. Give me some more examples. Uh, your, the, um, the, your fingers are each called phalanges, yeah. and each bone of the finger is called a phalanx. And the phalanx that's most, the closest to your knuckle here is 1.618 times the, uh, the phalanx that's in the middle, and that's 1.618 times the length of the phalanx at the end, which is fingernail. So that was kind of amazing. This number would come up over and over again. Then we find the Fibonacci ratio in heart muscles, in bronchial tube branch, even in the electrical potential of neurons, and as Roger Penrose pointed out, even in the arrangement of the brain's microtubules. As we scan our universe from the tiny flower to the awe-inspiring galaxy, we see the fingerprint of God. We see the fingerprint of God. We see the fingerprint of God. As we're going to show in this broadcast today that there is no doubt at all anymore that the science of intelligent design absolutely crushes any competition absolutely crushes any other theory about the nature of the universe that we live in it, it's over there is simply no contest the preeminent theory model science of reality from this point forward I declare on this show is the science of intelligent design the science of intelligent design the science of and the absolute proof <laughs> I mean absolute I'm using a strong word there proof 
is going to be given to you today in just a minute here. <laughs> I just can't even believe it, to be honest. Discoveries like what I'm about to discuss to you just never cease to amaze me. For many reasons, that it's all covered. Nobody knows it's covered up. And, well, since I was taught growing up that the world was was basically a random universe, to just to find out such hardcore, distinct verification that that's a lie just never ceases to amaze me. So here's the information. 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 I'm reading from the abstract of an article. This is the first of many academic articles I'm going to be showing, discussing with you here today. And these aren't just some academic journals. These are, you go ask your university professor what the most prestigious journal, academic science journals in the world are, and they're going to name the ones that I'm discussing here with you today. <laughs> okay? This is, I'm going to read to you right now the journal Nature. Okay? There's a journal called Nature, and there's a journal called Science. Those are the two most, consider the two most prestigious overall academic science journals in the world. And I'm going to read you part of, I'm going to read you the, part of the abstract of one right now. Let me just read, okay, this is, this is the journal Nature. Number 454, pages 362 to 363, uh, March 18, 2010, but put online March 17, 2010. This is by a fellow named Ian Affleck, who teaches apparently in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of British Columbia. Listen to the title of this article. Solid State Physics. Golden Ratio Seen in magnet. Okay? <laughs> okay, so let's go through this other this Science Daily article. Uh, ScienceDaily.com. This was released on January 7, 2010. The title of the article, Golden Ratio Discovered in Quantum World. Hidden Symmetry Observed for the First Time in Solid State Matter. <laughs> Let's find out what that first time, what that means. Let's, let's read here. Researchers from Helmholtz Zentrum Berlin, uh, and it's, it's some German words, uh, in cooperation with colleagues from Oxford and Bristol universities, as well as the Rutherford App Appleton Laboratory, United Kingdom, have for the first time observed a nanoscale symmetry hidden in solid state matter. Okay, <laughs> did you catch that? This is the first time any symmetry of any sort has been observed in the nanoscale, okay, the, the quantum scale. Remember, quantum physics is the study of the base level energies of nature. Okay, the smallest building blocks that make up everything, little pieces of energy, like the electron or the muon or the quark. Okay, so specifically, what was found in uh, this study was that chains of atoms lined up together form uh, what's sort of like a string, and it resonates a frequency or pitch. <laughs> what do you know? The pitch is in the ratio of 1.618, the golden ratio. Let me just read this paragraph to you. It says, Science Daily, again, January 7, 2010, golden ratio discovered in quantum world. By turning the system and artificially introducing more quantum uncertainty, the researchers observed that the chains of atoms acts like a nanot nanotech guitar string. Dr. Rel Radu Koldia from Oxford University, who is the principal author of the paper and drove the international project from its inception a decade ago until the present, explains, Here the tension comes from the interaction between spins, causing them to magnetically resonate. 
For these interactions, we found a series scale of resonant notes. The first two notes show a perfect relationship with each other. Their frequencies, pitch, are in the ratio of 1.618. <laughs> this is just amazing. There's no defense that a random universe theorist in academia can give to counter this. They, there's no reason at all that the quantum base of reality should be exhibiting the golden, the specific number of the golden ratio if we live in a random universe.